This is WCPO 9 News. Well, thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tamika Artis, and here is a look at some of today's top stories. Some tense moments overnight involving a SWAT standoff, what police describe as an emotionally disturbed man. The hours long situation on Freeman Street in West End finally ended with the suspect in custody after officers used non lethal rounds to take him down. The man is now receiving treatment at a local hospital. Happening today, Metro is back to their full service this morning after shutting down some of it because of the pandemic. You will see plexiglass that is put up between the driver and the passengers. Every bus is also thoroughly washed and sprayed down with a coordinated disinfectant that kills the COVID-19 virus on contact. Well, police are still searching this morning for the driver who struck and killed a woman on Interstate 75. It happened early yesterday on I-75 South near the Norwood Lateral. Investigators say that woman is 23 years old and was from out of state. Her identity has not yet been released. And we are working to learn the identity of the man shot by a Boone County deputy after a chase early yesterday morning in Hebron. It happened around 420 yesterday morning on Petersburg Road. Kentucky State Police say the man charged at them with a knife and that deputy shot him multiple times. That man later died at the hospital. Austin now with a check of your nine first warning forecast. Well, Tamika, we're looking at uh, some uh, crummy air still sticking around, and because of that, we have an air quality advisory for the gray shaded counties. That's uh, pretty much everyone. Uh, we're looking at uh, this air quality advisory going through the weekend, and it's going to just uh, continue probably for Monday because that uh, crummy air will be sticking around for the next couple of days. Uh, temperatures, though, for today, 70s and 80s. Rain showers for the morning hours, uh, more uh, storms at least for the afternoon. Overall, here's your seven-day forecast with uh, high rain chances at least for the next two or three days before drying out.